Donna of Prima Donna Crafts and today I would like to share with you a special video to show you um, the entries that I would be presenting for the um, 2014 Graphic 45 um, designer call and um, I've never entered previously for any of these sort of um, designer team calls and uh, I just feel now I would be able to um, provide an interesting selection of my work and uh, so I'm going to submit the entry and hope for the best. So to start off with I've got a cardstock mini album which is right in front here. This is my own design and uh, it is a very robust uh, mini album. I've got a video in my channel which um, there is a tutorial plus a finishing a finished um, item tutorial so it's a very pretty mini album and if you're interested I'll put a link and you can check it out again so that is the first entry next I've got a canvas layout I'm really pleased with the way this turned out. It is actually a spin-off from the um, dress canvas that I made and uh, I am really liking the colors here. I did not um, distress and uh, prepare the background as much as I did on the previous canvas layout. I'll just see if I can get hold of it. I don't want to shake too much. Here it is. So I did a lot of background work before I added the dress. And there is also a, a video on that. So this is actually a spin off, and uh, this is uh, really a beautiful sort of a canvas layout ushering in the spring season. So I've used the Once Upon a Springtime collection, which is so appropriate. And the dress has turned out beautifully. So that is my second entry. And then this box uh, is my third. And again, there is a video on it. I love the paint collection. I can't remember which one it is. It's one of the older papers as well and it really works very well with this um, box. So uh, when you open the box up there is a paperback mini album and this is also going to be submitted. So there is an entry on this um, mini album as well. Very pretty. And I love this page as well. I added some of my own embellishments like that um, heart is made from uh, female clay and uh, the crocheted flower is uh, something that I crocheted as well. So these two entries are going in as well and then quickly show you the shadow box again I've got a video on this uh, I made this for my daughter and uh, love the embellishments and the combination and as graphic 45 has got quite a few embellishments it would be interesting to make a shadow box with the embellishments as well And next, um, I'm really proud of this entry because um, it just sort of came at the spur of the moment. I made this paper mache bottle a while ago and there is also a video on it. Um, but it was a plain bottle that I um, did the video on 
Sorry, I'm just trying to move away a few things so that you can get a better shot of it. So the um, steampunk collection really looks good with this um, bottle. And then I've used embellishments from Tim Holtz and Finnebear to complement the bottle. More Graphic 45 papers. It goes beautifully with this bottle which has now been altered and so that is the front so uh, with that um, I'll leave you thank you so much for watching and do keep in touch bye for now